In our last episode, we did a complete walk around of Comp Air's new 6.2 aircraft. In this episode, we give you the factory tour. All right, so round two, we're over here where the real work happens, where the real magic happens, and that is in production and manufacturing. So we went all the way across town to show you this, this one piece wing and all the different composite uh, components and assemblies, sub assemblies, right here in this massive shop in the middle of Rockledge, Florida. I'd like to introduce you to Steve Darrow. Steve Darrow is the guy that does all the, the he does a lot of, of, most of the work actually. He does the, the uh, quick builds and the builder's assistance center is gonna be Steve Darrow. So once you buy your airplane, you'll go to him. And the name of the company is Composite Technologies and Skybuild. We manufactured the kits uh, along with Ron. He's designed them. We've been doing this for about 25 years. Um, and we've done a bunch of different designs together. This one I like the most um, because it's all carbon fiber and it's really, really fast. So what are some of the other projects you've worked on in composites over the years? Okay, so I did the Dragon for Universal Studios. Um, we made 82 wind tunnels for iFly. Uh, vertical know, wind tunnels vertical for, wind for skydiving. Tunnels. Yeah, skydiving wind tunnels. Um, we do, we do uh, for the Broken Arrow, we do all of their simulators for uh, the government. I don't know the if you know what that is. Might have seen one no, it's, it's the spy plane. We make the simulators for that. All right, everyone, this part of the tour is gonna move along pretty quickly as they're still in production here, so pay attention. I think, uh, I think they're ready for us. Foot long, so we got to be careful how 
always store things around here. But very light, very strong. Tested everything uh, on Ron's plane. Did a weight test on it. Nobody trusts me under. Let's pull it back, please. Okay. So there's the. This is the Ford spar, the main spar, the drag spar. Okay. These are your aileron codes, your flat codes, uh, and in here is all your equipment, uh, your flap brackets and everything and all your poles go out to move your ailerons up and down and then back here is usually empty it's just an empty place on the airplane we make everything no air please no air please no air please okay so we make everything before the customer comes in so you can see there's a complete there's like four complete sets of flaps because we're fixing to start a new program uh, we've already started it, but there's ailerons and flaps. They're all ready to go. We're going to head over there to the vacuum department and show you how all that works. First of all, this is, so the, the carbon fiber that we use is a, is a, a, usual, is a biaxial carbon. <clears throat> so there's several different weaves and uh, uh, styles and thicknesses. So what it means is that the fibers run at a plus and minus 45 degrees. So that's 100% carbon. This is one style. This is a lighter, more flexible fabric. This is a fabric that, that uh, is a little heavier, um, and uh, there's a third style. So that, that's, this is the carbon that we use to build the airplane out of. So in the next building over is where we, since we can control the temperature a little bit better, uh, the next building over is, we, is where we make all those vacuum parts. All right, so what we have here are all the control surfaces for the Comp Air 6.2. You got your aileron control surfaces. These are vacuumed. They weigh about 4.2 pounds each, each, each little part. The flaps weigh about 5.8 pounds each. They're vacuumed and they stay in the mold to protect the mold. Um, I showed you over there, we've got a whole bunch of parts that once they stay in the mold for about two weeks, then we pull them out. This is the elevator right here. Uh, and we have several of these. I've got a, a, a container over there with all these parts because you've got to leave them in there and let them cure and let them get strong. Uh, this is your elevator part. We cut it up and we make this twice and it makes your elevator. And this right here, under all this carbon that we use to make all this stuff, is your Ford stabilizer. We were supposed to clean up before you came, but I forgot because I'm in a hurry. So this is how mold starts. It starts as a really nice, shiny mold surface. We gel coat it gray, and that protects all the carbon from the sun, from the UV rays, and then we'll laminate it, we'll vacuum it, and boom, you got a light part. These things weigh about two pounds, and you can do a pull-up on them. I've already done that. Uh, so these are your doors, and your doors are made out of carbon as well. Here's your cargo doors. We've got everything stacked away because it's in cure mode. Uh, there's your rudder, but we have plenty of these parts ready to go for this program that's coming up. So we, we pre-make everything, the customer comes, and then we run him for two weeks. I mean, we have everybody, we throw everything at it and go boom. Yeah, and the guy walks out of here with a plane. <laughs> so that's how it works. So these, these are all your leading edges to your flaps and the ailerons. Um, they're, they're stuck in this bowl, but I'm going to show you what it's like to pop it out. That's it right there. There's the whole process. Gel coat, carbon fiber. All right, this is just another part that we, we put in here so it maintains, because we, we keep extra parts, so it maintains its curvature. So all of these parts are done in this fashion. So they, they, they you know, when you get your plane, it's all stiff, hardened, ready to go. It's, it's all been tested. All right, I'm going to pop in here real quick to talk about our sponsors. As you know, I can't do this all on my own. we got to have somebody to help fuel that truck. We try really hard to work with uh, sponsors that provide a good service and a good quality product. So let's talk about those guys right now. Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, the premier provider of glass panel avionics systems for experimental and light sport aircraft. Wide Open Door Company at WideOpenDoorCo.com, your premier destination for high quality doors, including aircraft hangar doors. Warp Drive Propellers at WarpDriveInc.com. 
providing quality, solid carbon fiber propellers for many light sport and experimental aircraft. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com, an independent master repair center and a training facility for Rotax engines. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no, specializing in fuel injection conversions, performance upgrades, and complete engines for your aircraft. Pioneer Control Grips at PioneerControlGrips.com. Comfort, convenience, and style. Handcrafted custom wooden grips with many styles to choose from. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for new videos and easy to navigate playlists and so much more. Speaking of fueling that truck, if you guys want to join us on our Patreon page, become patrons of this channel. Just search on Patreon for Experimental Aircraft Channel sign up at several different levels and at certain levels we even have scheduled video meetings once a month so check that out just real quick so the wheel pants this weighs about four pounds it's very hard made out of carbon fiber it slips right over the wheel and we nut plate this to the plane and on the gear and you're going to see the plane shortly so when we're designing the plane we uh, you know it takes a bit of time for this to cure so we needed to be able to do it fast so we designed the plane to where you build all the bulkheads first, then you build the planes and you put all these structural bulkheads in and you just hand it in. I'll send you a video of that where they just take this whole structure and they put it in the plane. I'm taking you to the plane right now to see what we did. I wanted to point out, so this is a flap, it's put together now. If you notice, the flap skins are from here to here, the, the skin itself, and then the leading edge is a separate part. We did that, and you can see the, 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 the vertical component to that. We did that on all the surfaces, the wings, uh, it, everything has a false leading edge. This guarantees the shape, and it guarantees that the owner does not have to worry about making these radiuses, right. that it's perfect every time. In the wing, because the wing has the same feature that it's hollow, it allows for de-icing, easy, easy installation of de-icing, and wire chase. You can just run the wires yep. on the leading edge. Let me show them that real quick. It's a lot more damage hollow. I, yeah, yeah. Here's the, the leading edge, and like right here is the wing. This is that Ford drag I was telling you about, the main and the drag spar. Uh, so this is just a leading edge where you can put de-icing in there, whatever you want to do. It makes it easy. It's hollow all the way down, but it's plenty strong. And this way, I'll show you the planes, uh, a plane that we've already put together out of these molds. Now we've been in uh, a design phase, but as we're designing, we'll also start production. And this is number four, number five. Um, and what we'll do is this plane has been, it looks kind of rough, but it's, it's because it just got put together. The bulkheads are already in there. This is how the builder will yeah. receive the fuse on. Right. And if you look back in there, but in there is where all the, uh, in there is where all the bulkheads are. The, the problem we had is how are we gonna attach the wing to this airplane, make it aesthetic, make it smooth, and it's a one-piece wing, so what we decided to do is we built a massive flange in the airplane, and you can see it goes way down. And if you look at the vertical components to this structure, so it's like a big rib cage in the airplane, and we bolt, literally bolt the wing down onto this. Inside the wing there's a corresponding flange equally as heavy. So we literally just bolt the wing on this flange all the way around. And that's what holds the wing on the airplane. Good. So we set this actual room up, we set up with those two air conditioners because it gets really hot in Florida. So we have to control the temperature before these go under vacuum. So we made an air conditioned uh, temperature control room, which is what this is. And it, it, we can accommodate any wing or anything in here. Yeah, bring him right up in here. He was telling me about the flange, so now that that's out the window, here's your flange. You can see it goes all the way throughout the body. And then we put these mullions in here that give the plane its strength and structure. But here's how they do that flange. And it's all done, peel plied, no air. It's beautiful. And that's where the gear goes in. You'll see that in a moment. Well, 
these guys have me running all over Florida, um, over at the Merritt Island Airport now here. A third location. <laughs> They're dragging me everywhere. So let's go check out. This is a aircraft that is currently in uh, builder assist. Well, it's going to be uh, the demo essentially. So one of the owners, partners, uh, builder assist here. So let's go check it out. Okay, so now we're at the, the, the site where we do our wiring and the assembly, the wing putting on, it's, comp, it's uh, Sebastian Communication. Um, so we'll put it back here in the pit. This particular plane is the Comp Air 6.2T. So it's got the turbine on it, all right? So this is a zero-timed uh, turbine that we put on here uh, we do our own baffling we're, we're making the molds for it right now this fuselage is the same size fuselage as the piston fuselage but it's this one is done a little bit different because on the interior we made a completely composite interior so it's got gel coat on it and you can add uh, leather pant little leather panels to it or anything you want uh, in this plane when you look into the plane you're only going to see the rudder pedals and the control stick in the in the panel so uh, this one has the cargo door a uh, little bit bigger tires on this one we got the 800s on it because we need prop clearance because we got a 100 inch prop um, I had the, the, the fold out gear on here, but I took them off because it gets torn up over here in Sebastian. Everybody uses it walking in and out and it gets all scratched up. So same plane as before. We put some reinforcement laminates in this, uh, all about the plane that we need for the 650 horsepower turbine. Uh, it's a Walter 601E. D, D, uh, 601D. Now, it, in this model, what's a little bit different than the other one is it has straights for it. It's, it's a lot more torque, a lot more thrust uh, coming off the back, but we're 100% counterbalanced on the rudder and the elevator, and it's painted, and this one's ready to go. Here is the carbon fiber structure that the whole plane has. You've got these mullions running up and down the plane and a huge flange here that has 12 AN6 bolts in each side of it and it operates as an integral system, a structure. Once it's bolted together, it's very strong. It's very, it, I was thinking it can hold the 6,200 pounds at six plus, uh, six positive Gs, four negative. So as you guys can see, there's a partner company in this and that's Composite Technologies. Um, ironically enough, they do a lot of things outside of aviation and actually have a pretty big footprint here uh, on location. So I'll give you a kind of a quick walkthrough of the different things, industries that uh, they work through. So let's check that out too. So this is just one part of our operation where we uh, will machine our gear on this machine right here. This is a 36 inch Z uh, five axis, D five axis DMS. And over here we have a three-axis uh, ocean uh, motion master, which is the exact same number. They just two different machines, one older than the other. So today we're cutting plastics for uh, windows into a, a ride that I'm going to tell you about. And my brother here is setting everything up, and he'll blow through these sheets in a couple days and make all that up. We got to go to the next one. So this this whole block. There's like, I got ovens, big huge ovens over there for, we do our windshields. Well, you got plenty of scrap foam, my gosh. Uh, Is this uh, from concrete pours or something? What is it used for? Steve, what, what is this sea of foam? Uh, what is, is this sea of foam about? This is where we get these big huge 20 foot blocks of foam and we hot wire it. And then we put it on those big five axis machines over there and we machine something like that, which is the uh, Compare 6.2, we'll machine it, spray mud over it, and then remachine it, and that turns into a plug where we make the mold. I've, I've never seen a foam junkyard before. This is it, this <laughs> is it. Uh, believe it or not, it's been through three hurricanes, and it just stays here. This is for cutting those, see those blocks of foam right there? That yeah. yellow foam, is, you can't hot wire that, you have to cut it. So this has a table, 
and you just put the foam on there and it slabs it off for you and then we bring it in here. And this is the process in here. Right today we're making uh, we're making yeah, we're making the arm for uh, the turtles, who are those little turtle guys? Ninja turtles. Ninja, ninja turtles, yeah. You're, so you're making you're making the uh Yeah, this is the this Yeah. Yeah, these are the arm pads to make these little kids look like they're kung fu turtles. So this is made out of a, a real flexible, expensive foam. And we machine it like this, and then we turn it over, machine it like this, and it's made to where it gives it a structure. See? Pretty cool. And that's a mold for a boat there. Uh, this is a five axis machine. Now this one's 11 by 11 by five foot. And so we can cut some pretty big parts here. And over here we got the big one. Uh, you probably won't be able to stay in here too long because of the, uh, the vapor. But today we're doing a jacuzzi. So this jacuzzi uh, is gonna go to Canada. Um, We've already made the bottom, I'll show it to you in a minute. And these pieces go on the top. It's a really big swim spa plus jacuzzi. This is our paint booth. Uh, and so here is just, this is upside down, but if you flip this over, this is how big this jacuzzi is, right? You can swim in it, it brings water this way, so you're swimming. And back there, you can have all the family sitting around in those jets back there watching you work out. This is a big one. This is one of the big ones. We do this uh, for a company in Canada. Been doing it for 20 years. Where we power cut everything. So, you know, from wheels to plane parts to whatever, we put the powder coat in them right over there, get some powder on them, and then we put them in the oven, bake them for about an hour, and you got good powder coated parts. You know, you sit right up in here and this door opens and you put your face in there and it looks at your eyes and gives you a full prescription of whatever you need. So, it's something we designed. So, uh, everything you need here for a machine shop, you got a shear, uh, 12 foot shear, 10 foot brake, uh, water jet, uh, aircraft welders right here. We make a lot of aircraft stuff. We even make aircraft stuff for the company you were talking about earlier. Um, no, we gotta go get that. Pardon me, 50 cent tour. You're taking a dollar tour. Don't bark at me. Don't bark. Say that water jet will come. Fix it. Ronnie, what's the thickest you cut on that? This is, this is my officer manager. Uh, Angela, uh, anybody that needs to be destroyed, I sick her on them and she will destroy them quickly. All right? This is where we do all of our business meetings and stuff like that. Like I said, we can oversee the airport. Um, we also own that facility that we were just in over there. Uh, that's our wire facility that you were just in. It's a vertically integrated deal. Literally. Literally. Second floor, overlooking the airport. Yep, yep. On ground, 50 feet. I've, I've flown in one before. Yeah, it's a big deal. Or however you, you call that. Oh, here's all my parts right here. That is all the stuff we make for a wind tunnel. We make everything you see right there. I went up on top of that thing, up, up on top of a load. Even this, see, it took a picture of all of it. So, people, so the, and these are the skydive tunnels that you go for yeah, fun. Yeah, I fly wind tunnels. Yep, yep. So, and that's John Cena's car. <laughs> this is actually the entire building that we make. Yeah. With the, these are the wind turn vanes. Turn, turn vanes that Ronnie makes out of metal, and then we make all of this. See the inlet contractor. And the inlet contractor. All of that, these they take the air and they recirculate it like this, so it saves energy, you know? When they when they first started building them, they would bring it up and push the air out into stagnant air. It costs a lot of money, so they said, hey, we'll, we'll make a, a recirc, and I helped them design it. And it took us like three years to design one. I didn't know nothing about it, but I guessed my way through it. But we designed it, and boom, we started selling a whole bunch of them, so. Anyway. That was awesome. Yeah, what a view.
traveled all around the eastern part of Florida today uh, to capture all this stuff, but where can somebody see this in person? We've got some shows coming up, and uh, you'll actually have one of these flying there at um, these shows. Yes, so you can come see us at Sun of Fun, where our display is MD5 Bravo. That's where our display is at, at, at Lakeland. We also have a display at Air Venture, or you can always come to the Titusville Airport. So we're only a 30 minute drive from the Orlando Airport. You can bring your wife and kids, can go to Disney World, and you can come over and see the airplane. It's a great setup. All right, so that is a very complete tour of every nook and cranny and corner of the buildings they have here. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Um, obviously, um, Composite Technologies does all kinds of awesome stuff outside of aviation. And if I wasn't just an aviation channel, I'd love to come back and, and uh, dig deeper into the other industries they work on. But, you know, we try to stick to what we know. So until next time. And thank you to all of our Patreon members who support our channel.